yeah! So today I really wanted to make a favorites video. I absolutely love watching favorites video and I'm so excited to make my own! Uh, and yeah, it's not going to be any special like guitar or music theme. It's just going to be like general stuff that I have really enjoyed in January. And let's just get started! Samuel Beckett wrote Waiting for Godot and it's absurd theater and it's so funny. And in terms of reading, uh, my favorite thing to read is conversation. So theater plays are the best thing for me to read and my personal goal for 2018 or one of them is to read a little bit more. So reading this play is like super duper. And so yeah, this is one of my favorites. I just, I just hit myself with the book. Oh, come on. My second favorite, may, maybe some of you have seen it on stream, uh, but my second favorite is this one. It's so cute. Uh, I got this for Christmas and I absolutely love it. It's so cute. And it's really, really, really big. It's a cup and it's a little like Super Mario mushroom cup. It's so cute. And to have like something as a guitar thing, my favorite guitar pick for the last few months. Uh, one, one viewer actually sent me like so many guitar picks. Uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I leave a link to, not, not a link, I leave the like PO box address in the descri description below if you want to send me a letter or something. But he sent me like so many guitar picks and one of them was the John Petrucci guitar pick, which I absolutely love. I think it's in the style of the uh, Dunlop Jazz 3 kind of guitar picks, but it's a John Petrucci signature guitar pick. It's really, really good. I really recommend you trying it if you can get a hold of it because it's a really good guitar pick. My next thing is this cute little like scented candle. I love scented candles. And Yankee Candle Black Coconut is my all-time favorite. And my brother and his girlfriend actually found this like in town. And I did not think that we were able to like, get not even Yankee Candles, but Black Coconut Yankee Candle. It's unbelievable, it's so good. And I've burnt quite a lot of it because I tried to like save it for like the really, really like special days or just like hanging around or movie nights or just like, I really, really want to use it and I really, really want to save it. So I'm really like, oh, but I absolutely love it. This is like the best scented candle ever. And I love scented candles. It's so cute. Also, it's black and it looks absolutely amazing. I love it. My next favorite, uh, me and my family love board games. So, yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's a little bit shaky now. But Seven Wonders board game, oh my God. It's absolutely super, super much fun. You play with like, you play with all these um, board here, uh, boards here. Uh, so you don't have like this big play, this big place to play it. Uh, you actually have like your own little like card or so. Let me show you. You have all these wonders on this like little plate here. Uh, this is the lighthouse in Alexandria because it's like it's real, it's real wor world wonders. That's so difficult to say. Real world wonders. Uh, but many of them, I think six of them are like completely broken or like as good as broken um, because of the tolls of time and everything. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love playing this and you have like special abilities on each city uh, and it's absolutely, it's so much fun to play and we play it all the time and I absolutely love it. It's probably the most fun board game that I have ever played. You can see here all the cities. You have Olympia, which just looks amazing. You have Halicarnassus. It's so cool. It's, a, it's Babylon. Oh my God, it's amazing. Ephesus. What? Rhodos. This, this like, this is insane. Like what? Have people like made this? It's crazy. And you have the pyramids. Ooh. But yeah, I absolutely love Seven Wonders. And if you have any recommendations in the style of Seven Wonders or in the style of having your own little, like you have your own little board game uh, as, uh, uh, as along with the others, uh, instead of having this like big, big play area, you have this like one for just you. Uh, if you have any in this style, please let me know. Uh, if you have any little board games you, you know about that we would like need to check out. So my last favorite this month is actually an album cover. And as 
some of you might know, I am absolutely loving album art. I think it's so important to the album itself. Uh, but uh, yeah, I absolutely love this album art. It's basically everything done right. And it was brought up on stream because the guy who made the cover, uh, uh, his name is Paul. And I actually think he's a part of the band as well. Uh, he made the cover and, he, and we were talking about uh, album covers. Uh, and he brought it up and he was like, yeah, this is my band's cover, uh, check it out. And I saw it and it was just like, what? You can see it right here. Oh my god, it's amazing. The album is Lunatio. Lunatio, I think, I think it's called. It has some weird letters, so I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Uh, but this album cover is just like gorgeous. It, it's absolutely amazing and I absolutely love it. Uh, and I'm so impressed with people making stuff like this because I, I think he was like mostly self-taught as a graphic designer or so and he made this like basically being self-taught it's like it's so cool so so credits to you for for making this and thank you so much for sharing it on stream and uh, yeah Ooh, it's also quick little side note if you want to hang out on stream uh, you can you can just check the links in the description. I have like a million links there basically So if you want to hang out on stream just like feel free to feel free to come and say hi uh, And I really really enjoy checking out if you guys are working on something or if you want to share some like stories or something I really like the live interaction kind of thing um, So yeah, if you want to hang out on live stream just like please check the links in the description and <laughs> So that's all the stuff for January favorites and there are basically like more favorites, but I, I wanted to keep it somewhat a little bit short and concentrated on like my most favorite things. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any favorites or if you have any board game suggestions. Oh my God, I absolutely love board games. We spend like so much time playing board games and I think it's such a fun like social activity with friends and family and it's just amazing. So let me know if you have any like board game favorites or like monthly favorites or anything. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.